Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. So let's go into our class today. And what I'd like to do is focus on the case scenarios that are within your presentation materials. So that's what I'd like us to focus on mostly today. So course content you'll see on our slide two is we'll talk about the history of research ethics. We'll apply principles of clinical research ethics and understand why they're necessary. So we'll, we'll actually do application. I think we learn better that way. Many of you have already had experience coming into this class, but it's a, a great reminder of um, how if we don't apply these principles, what can happen. So we're going to talk about um, practices that protect our participants and, for example, the different stakeholders holders' responsibilities, like the IRBs, research investigators, and we'll focus on those two groups primarily. And what are what about the susceptible populations from senior citizens to children, prisoners? We'll go and talk, talk about that, those populations too. And what are some current best practices that we're seeing? And with some of the ethical principles that have are, are really um, the foundation of what we do through history, what happens is we apply those in different ways globally. And so what are some of the practices we're seeing um, around the world? And how are, the, how are we interpreting ethical principles maybe differently in different parts of the country, the United States versus abroad? 